Hello guys, this is Sir EJ and welcome again for another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing all about how to solve quadratic equations by using completing the square. following objectives for today's topic. Letter A, complete the expression to make it a perfect square trinomial. Letter B, solve a quadratic equation by using the completing the square method. And letter C, value accumulated knowledge as means of new understanding. Completing the square is one of the method to solve for the roots of the quadratic equation. We can use the completing the square if the quadratic equation cannot be solved using the factoring method. Let's have an example. We have a given quadratic equation x squared minus 4x minus 2 is equal to 0. The first step we need to do is we need to transpose the constant term to the other side of the equation. Negative 2 transposed to the other side of the equation, it will become positive 2. So we have x squared minus 4x is equal to 2. After that, maglalagay tayo ng open parentheses followed by x squared minus 4x. Then maglalagay tayo ng blanco dito. So we will leave a blank here. Then copy mo lang yung equals 2. Next step is we will look at the value of our numerical coefficient of the linear term. So ang linear term natin dito ay negative 4x. And ang kanyang numerical coefficient, yung number na katabi ng variable, ay negative 4. So yung negative 4 na yan, i-divide natin sa 2. And then yung sagot, i-square natin. So we have negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. And then negative 2 to the second power, or negative 2 squared, will be equal to positive 4. Kasi negative 2 times negative 2 is equal to positive 4. So, yung positive 4, ilalagay natin dito sa blanco na yan. So, magkakaroon na siya ng positive 4. Then, kung ano yung nilagay natin sa side ng equation na to, ilalagay din natin sa kabila. So, kung may positive 4 to, lalagyan din natin ng positive 4 to. And then, after that, simplify na natin. We can factor now this equation kasi ito ay sum or difference of 2 square. So para makuha natin yung factor na to, kukunin lang natin yung square root ng x squared. Ano ba yung square root ng x squared? x, di ba? Kasi x times x is equal to x squared. Then kukunin din natin yung square root ng ating constant term. So we have square root of 4 is equal to 2 kasi 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So we have x and 2. Then, kunin natin yung sign ng ating linear term. So, ano ba yung sign ng ating linear term? Negative. So, ang factor nito is x minus 2 raised to the second power and then 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. The next step is maglalagay tayo ng bracket kasi imumultiply natin tong equation na to both sides by square root para makancel natin yung exponent na 2 kasi ang reciprocal ng square root ay exponent na 2. So, once na minultiply natin to square root times squared will be cancelled out na. So, ang matitira na lang ay x minus 2 equals 6 times square root is equal to square root of 6. So, we have positive negative square root of 6. Then, the next step. So, since hindi na natin masisimplify yung square root of 6, so, ito na yung magiging equation natin. Solve na natin yung dalawang roots. So, the first root will be x sub 1 minus 2 equals positive square root of 6. Transpose negative 2. Sa kabila, magiging positive 2. So, yung first root natin is 2 plus square root of 6. Then, for the second root, this time we have x sub 2 minus 2 is equal to negative square root of 6. Transpose mo lang ulit yung negative 2 magiging positive 2. So, we have 2 minus square root of 6 for our second root. Let's have our next example. 
So we have x squared plus 7x is equal to 0. So since we don't have a constant term, so as is lang yung equation natin. And then, maglalagay tayo ng open parentheses. Copy lang natin yung x squared plus 7x. Then, maglilib tayo ng blanco dito. Then, we will get the numerical coefficient of our linear term. Ano ba yung number na katabi ng variable na x? That is 7. Then, i-divide natin yung 7 sa 2. Then, yung sagot, i e square natin. So, 7 divided by 2 is 7 over 2. Then, square 7 over 2. So, 7 over 2 times 7 over 2 is equal to 49 over 4. So, we will put positive 49 over 4 here. And whatever number we put on this side of this equation, we will also put it to this side of the equation. So, positive 49 over 4 here. So, we will put another positive 49 over 4 here. And then after that, we will now simplify. So, this can be simplified kasi ito ay uh, sum of two squares. Kunin lang natin yung square root ng x squared, that is x. Kunin lang natin yung square root ng ating constant term na uh, 49 over 4. So, square root of 49, 7. Square root of 4, 2. So, square root of 49 over 4 is 7 over 2. Then, kunin natin yung sign ng ating linear term, positive. Kaya magiging x plus 7 over 2 raised to the second power equals 49 over 4. Then, the next step is to multiply this both sides by square root. Kasi ang reciprocal ng exponent na 2 ay square root. So, square root times squared will be just cancelled out. Ang matitira na lang dito ay x plus 7 over 2 equals 49 over 4 times square root is positive negative square root of 49 over 4. And then, we will just simplify this, bring down x plus 7 over 2, then square root of 49 over 4, so square root of 49 is 7, square root of 4 is 2. So we have positive negative 7 over 2. Then, let's compute for the two roots of the quadratic equation, x sub 1, plus 7 over 2 is equal to positive 7 over 2. Transpose natin yung 7 over 2 to the other side of the equation. Positive, it will become negative. So we have 7 over 2 minus 7 over 2. The first root will be equal to 0. And for the second root of our quadratic equation, this time we have x sub 2 plus 7 over 2 equals, this time magiging negative yung 7 over 2. So, transpose 7 over 2 magiging negative 7 over 2. Then, negative 7 over 2 minus 7 over 2 is equal to negative 14 over 2. So, we have x sub 2 is equal to negative 14 divided by 2 is equal to negative 7. Let's solve our next problem. So, we have a given quadratic equation 3x squared minus 7x minus 6 is equal to 0. The first thing we need to do here since the numerical coefficient of our quadratic term is greater than 1, we will divide this both sides by 3 to cancel out the numerical coefficient of our quadratic term. So 3 divided by 3 will be cancelled out. So 3x squared will become x squared. Then copy negative 7x over 3 equals 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Then, the next step is we will put an open parenthesis here, followed by x squared minus 7x over 3. Then, we will leave a blank here equals 2. Then, tingnan natin yung numerical coefficient ng ating linear term. So, ang numerical coefficient ng linear term natin ay negative 7 over 3. So, ang gagawin natin, di-divide natin yung negative 7 over 3 sa 2. Then, i-square natin yung answer will be equal to 49 over 36. Kung ano yung nilagay mo dito number, lalagay mo rin dito. So, positive 49 over 36 dito, lagay mo rin ng positive 49 over 36 dito. Then, since this is a perfect square trinomial, we can get its factor. So, just get the square root of x squared. Ang square root ng x squared ay x. Then, ano yung square root ng 49 over 36? Square root of 49, 7 square root of 36, 6. Then, 
kung ano yung sign ng ating linear term, ilagay mo dito. So we have the quantity x minus 7 over 6 raised to the second power equals 2 plus 49 over 36 will be equal to 121 over 36. Then after that, we will just multiply it both sides by square root para makancel natin yung exponent na 2. Square root times squared is equal to x minus 7 over 6 na lang equals square root times 121 over 36 will be equal to positive negative square root of 121 over 36. Then, let's simplify this. Bring down lang natin yung x minus 7 over 6 equals positive negative square root of 121 over 36 is positive negative 11 over 6. Then, after that, pwede na natin makuha yung dalawang roots. So, we have x sub 1 minus 7 over 6 is equal to positive 11 over 6. Transpose natin yung negative 7 over 6 sa kabila. Negative magiging positive. 11 over 6 plus 7 over 6. This is similar fraction. Pares kasi sila ng denominator. So, pwede nating i-add yung ating numerator. 11 plus 7 is equal to 18 over 6. So, divide na lang natin. 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3. So, first root will be equal to positive 3. And for the second root, so we have x sub 2 minus 7 over 6 equals, this time magiging negative 11 over 6. Transpose negative 7 over 6 sabi la, negative magiging positive, negative 11 over 6 plus 7 over 6 is equal to negative 4 over 6. Lowest term ng negative 4 over 6 ay negative 2 third. So ang second root natin ay negative 2 third. Therefore, we have two roots. The first one is 3 and the second one is negative 2 third. Let's solve our last example. We have given quadratic equation 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 is equal to 0. Again, we will divide this both sides by 2 because the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term is greater than 2. So we have to divide it by whatever the numerical coefficient of our quadratic term. So divide it both sides by 2. So 2x squared divided by 2 will just be equal to x squared. 8x divided by 2 will just be equal to 4x. Then 10 divided by 2 will be equal to 5. So we have a given quadratic equation now. x squared plus 4x is equal to 5. Then let's perform completing the square. Lagyan natin ng open parentheses. Babalang natin yung x squared plus 4x. Lagyan natin ng blanco to equals 5. Then, kunin natin yung numerical coefficient ng ating linear term. So, ano ba yung numerical coefficient ng ating linear term? So, that is 4. We divide natin by 2, then i-square natin yung answer. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 to the second power is equal to 4. So, we have plus 4 here. Then, kung ano yung nilagay mo ditong number, lagay mo din sa kabila ng equation natin. So, lagyan din natin ng plus 4 dito. Then, if a factor na natin to, since this one is a perfect square trinomial or sum or difference of 2 square, pwede natin siyang ma-factored out ng mabilis. So, ano ba yung square root ng x squared? That is x. Ano ba yung square root ng 4? That is 2. Then, kung ano yung sign ng ating linear term, this is positive, lalagyan din natin ng positive dito. So, ang factor ng x squared plus 4x plus 4 is the quantity x plus 2 to the second power and 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. After that, let's multiply this both sides by square root para makancel natin yung exponent na 2. Square root times squared will just be cancelled out, kaya ang matitira na lang ay x plus 2. Then, square root of 9 will just be equal to positive negative 3. And then, after that, yung positive 2, transpose na lang natin sa kabila, magiging negative 2. So, pwede natin makompute yung dalawang roots ng ating quadratic equation. So we have x sub 1 is equal to negative 2 plus 3. Negative 2 plus 3 is equal to 1. So this will be our first root. The second root will be x sub 2 is equal to negative 2 minus 3. So negative 2 plus negative 3 will be equal to negative 5. So we have two roots. The first one is positive 1 and the second one is negative 5. 